iManifold application is extremely intuitive, but there's a couple things about the display that I want to make sure that we point out. The first thing you need to realize is that, just like your traditional gauges, it's got a high pressure and a low pressure side, and below the pressure is the corresponding saturation temperature, and then below the saturation temperature is the calculated superheat or the subcooling. Just for sake of understanding, I'm going to go ahead and put in some user inputs in here. So when you navigate the display, you can either sweep left or sweep right. I'm going to go ahead and sweep to the right. That'll open up the main menu. I'm going to go into the user inputs, select user input, and then down at the bottom, you'll see demo data. I'm going to select demo data, and then I'm going to select a 410A system because it's just something I'm familiar with right off the top of my head. It's going to ask, are you confirming that you want demo data? Uh, put in the program and just select confirm and that will populate the gauge set with the demo data. So now you can see we have 118 pounds of suction pressure, a 39.2 degree coil, and a calculated 10.8 degrees of superheat. That will do the same thing on the high side, except in this case we have 16.3 degrees of subcooling. Now, one important element of the display to point out is the saturation bar. Above saturation is superheated, below saturation is subcooled. So our superheat the, the analog uh, trending of the superheat is shown above the saturation bar, and it's scaled right now from 0 to 30. And then the subcooling is below the saturation bar scaled at 0 to 40. And our discharge line temperature is scaled from 0 to 225. And you can see right now we're at a uh, discharge line temperature of 170 degrees. So that's about in the center of our scale where it should be, and in the orange zone, which means it's very safe. Above 225, we get in the red zone. and uh, below 225, uh, you know, below 225 is perfectly safe. The other, the other section of the display I want to point out is our refrigerant. Our refrigerant that we have selected right now is 410A. And then the other side of the display on the right where the gear is, is our settings menu. If we sweep to the left and open up the settings menu, then you'll see all of the, uh, the subcategories that fall underneath that. That's the basics of the display. Uh, that I wanted to cover on this piece, and now we'll get into some more detail on each element of the, dis of the display and how we use it.